Welcome to another painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at the Blood Angels Death Company. So the new plastic guys, well relatively new, um, and here's what they look like when I'm all finished. I'm going to walk you through these step by step. So for the paints that I used here, uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, I started with a base coat of black and then I highlighted the armor with uh, these Reaper grays. So I highlighted up to a light gray and then washed it back down with a bad at black. Um, you can use any sort of combination of GW grays and even mix your own. Um, for the reds, I started with Mechorite red and then used Blood Red and Blaze Orange for highlights. For the uh, for the ropes and that sort of thing, use these Reaper ones with a base coat of Calvin Brown. For any of the bone areas, started with a Teleron Flesh, um, did a bit of a wash, and then some of these uh, these Reaper bone colors. Um, for the gold bits, I used tin bits as a base coat and then shining gold just for an edge highlight. For bolt gun, I started with that, washed with Badab Black, and then highlighted with Chainmail, and I think that's just about it. So uh, here's the guys I started out with, so just plain black spray. Uh, so I pre-assembled them. Uh, then I just went on everything and base coated all the colors, so that's your Mechorite Red, Bolt Gun, uh, Calvin Brown, Adaptus Battle Gray, and uh, Kemri Brown. I think that's about it. So uh, just looking around the models here, nothing too fancy. Um, this takes probably one of the longest steps, just doing all of these base coats, trying to make sure it's nice and even and staying within the lines. Uh, there's different ways of doing um, the models. Sometimes I do all of the base coat all at once and then do all of the highlights and washes all in one step. But typically I, I don't, I mix them up. Um, so this is just, this is more of a technique that I would use for a tutorial rather than an actual way I would paint a squad just on their own. Okay, so now I'm on to the next step here. So I'm highlighting things. Um, started to highlight the armor there. You can start seeing the edge highlights as well as the, some up here. Got the red starting to be a blood red. Uh, got the gold edge there. You can see these here. I think I actually skipped a step in the middle there. Um, yeah, so I've come up here with a blood red and starting to highlight these skull bits as well. Okay, and so now I'm uh, working up these as well. And you can see there's the, uh, that's like the, uh, well, the scrolls look like they've got a bleach bone on top there. Okay, and I got uh, some more highlights up on here. And you can see how it all kind of comes together as one model as you work through these highlights. And uh, all these uh, bits here, I'm going to work that up to a white edging. And um, not a lot to it. So the uh, the Griffin Sepia, I think that's what I use, or I usually use Augur and Flesh in there. And uh, this is Palomino Gold for uh, from Reaper, or you could use something like um, Snakebite Leather and then mix it with a bit of the uh, one of the foundation yellows for highlights for blonde hair. And uh, working my way up, so another layer of highlights on here. Got some of the green in the eyes, um, so that was just a bit of a snot green. Um, actually, it's snot green base, scorpion green, and then a bit of thraca green. And uh, working our way around, so a bit more highlighting on these rope bits. And uh, getting close to being finished. Okay, so now a bit of white edging on these scrolls here, you can see. And um, another layer on these ropes, just to bring that out a bit more. Oh, and that's sorry, it's blurry there. But the uh, so for this sword, that's just layers of dark blue, and then as you get to the lighter blue, it's just finer and finer. Um, I've actually painted these models quite a while ago, and I'm, I've since switched to doing a different way of doing power swords, more the uh, the four sword kind of look, where you kind of uh, do the non-metallic shining. But um, this is another way as well. Okay, so just doing final highlights now, getting towards the finish. And then I added just static grass here. Um, I'm not doing that anymore either. I don't, I don't really like how that ends up looking, but it's quick and easy, so uh, that's one way. And then I've done some detail on here with some uh, scorched earth. Um, and you'll be able to see that on some of the other scrolls. So you can see, uh, basically what I do is I do a base coat with the foundations, start doing some highlights, 
do some washes and then do final edge highlights. Um, and that does the squads up pretty quickly. And that was, you know, so there's all that scab red. That's really, really fine brushed, kind of just doing zigzags on things. And that's about it. So these guys are tabletop ready. And uh, now I ended up putting a lot of special weapons in here, so they're not really optimized. Um, they're a super expensive unit um, with jump packs and power fists and thunder hammers. So I'm going to probably uh, water it down with a bit of just plain death company guys. I've got another box ready to go. And I'll just paint those guys up. So just give them, you know, bolt pistols and chain swords, and uh, that'll help uh, lower the average cost per guy. And uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And there's other stuff on my blog. It's like watching paint dry See you next time.